this guy in South Carolina uh, seemed hell-bent on ignoring um, the law, ignoring the facts, ignoring what everyone else in the law enforcement and uh, you know, legal communities were saying, far more than just kind of objecting to what we were doing, he called us out as criminals. Um, basically, he ignored all the, the bigger targets right under his nose to point at a San Francisco internet company. Um, uh, he felt, obviously, that he was em empowered to do so and that there would be no consequences for doing so. Uh, but we didn't take that lightly. Uh, you know, my mother doesn't like to hear me called out as a criminal. And, um, you know, if you're just going to persistently make those kind of threats and accusations, um, eventually you're going to get called on it, and that's what we've done in South Carolina. You know, we were just the subject of a witch hunt over uh, a certain class of ads. Uh, journalistic media have no interest in reporting on far larger numbers and far more graphic ads that exist in their own publications or in uh, their uh, in publication, you know, other journalistic publications. Reporters have no interest in reporting on those. They have an interest only in reporting on such ads as they appear uh, on the internet and on Craigslist in particular. So they write a bunch of uh, stories about these ads on Craigslist. That uh, empowers politicians to point at these articles in journalistic media about these ads on Craigslist and say, oh, there's a problem here. Okay, I'm going to issue some press releases. I'm going to get on my soapbox and also point the finger at Craigslist. Then, of course, uh, journalistic media, in turn, dutifully report on the, um, on the accusations of politicians, which were based on their own initial reports about ads in Craigslist that they have no interest in, um, you know, they have no interest in turning that same scrutiny, obviously, on their own employer or uh, other journalistic media. So you get this kind of vicious cycle going back and forth. Uh, and it, in our case, it's kind of resulted in an uh, unreasonable, unfair, and hypocritical witch hunt um, that's been playing out over the last couple of weeks.